Hello, my name is Germán Noriega from Ciudad Ingenieros in Barcelona, and I'd like, I'd like to give you a brief introduction to the Peltier effect. The Peltier effect was discovered by Charles Satanasse Peltier in uh, 1834 in, uh, in France. Uh, how it works? Uh, as simple as uh, two semiconductor materials, in this case, bismuth telluride is the most common used material, uh, has N type electrons and P type electrons. And there is an, uh, when you apply a small current into it, it accelerates the, the heat in one direction and this, is, this accelerates the heat in the other direction. This, um, this uh, creates a temperature difference between one side and the other side of the semiconductors. And this is called a Peltier effect because of the, the pumping capacity that goes from one end to the other end and this uh, allows you to, to cool different uh, surfaces, different applications. There, there are many, uh, over a thousand types of applications, but the most relevant will be electromedicine applications, will be for um, telecommunications, and will be for all kinds of uh, automobile, if you want to, let's say, to apply for the comfort of the vehicle, as well as for the battery, temp temperature maintenance of the battery. And uh, all these applications are quite important, you know, up a days because they are really reliable, uh, even that the efficiency is not as high as a motor compressor, we call the little brother of the motor compressor. And another advantage is that uh, it's um, non-polluted non because it does not create pollution into the world and is a friendly environmentally uh, alternative to the, the cooling system.